Hello guys, welcome to a new video. One of my viewers asked me, Can you please make a tutorials for YouTube channel intro and logo animation in Filmora X? So let's try this. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel for this type of cool tutorial. In this video, I will give you a free template of this intro. So see video at the end. First I will show you how to make this and then I will show you how to use template. So open Filmora and import your file. I already import my file. For this tutorial, we need this video. Download link given in the description below. So drag this video into timeline. Zoom the timeline. Go 1 second 3 frame. And add logo into upper timeline. Now we will adjust logo with video. Now place timeline bar middle part of video. Double click on logo and go compositing. And change opacity to 20%. Now we can adjust it properly. Go transform and adjust logo position here. As you can see this adjusted properly. Let's check preview. As you can see when I'm playing suddenly the logo is appear here. To fix this go transition and add dissolve transition in first part of logo. Decrease transition duration as you like. As you can see now this is better. Now double click on logo and go compositing. Then change opacity to 100% again. Now place timeline bar in 2 second 17 frame. And double click on logo and go animation then customize. Add your first keyframe here and change opacity to 20%. Then go 3 second and 22 frame and reset opacity value. Render frame for a smooth preview. Let's check preview. As you can see, it's perfect. You can add text in your intro. Add default text and edit your text as you like. Adjust text position. Then add transition in first part of text. Then add opacity keyframing animation like logo. Render frame and let's check our preview. Ok. 
okay now let's make with template template link given in the description below so open template when you open this it's look like this let's check so import your logo so you can see here are four markers add your logo in first markers so change opacity and adjust position like previous then add dissolve transition in first part set transition duration to second marker now you can delete or hide second track file Now go compositing and reset opacity value. Now go third marker and add opacity animation like previous. And finally go fourth frame and reset opacity value. And you're done. Render frame and check preview. Now you can add your text. Okay, our effect is ready, so let's export it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.